Hello everybody, let's talk about the blood supply of the kidneys. So we've already seen the gross anatomy of the kidney. We know that they are retroperitoneal organs. They are bean-shaped organs located on either side of the vertebral column. But the right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney because we have the liver on the right side and the superior poles are slightly tilted towards the center. The kidneys are not vertical, they are slanted. Let's talk about the blood supply. So the main vessel supplying the kidney is, of course, the abdominal aorta, and the branches which supply the kidney are called the renal arteries. So there you have it, all right? And all the blood which is given comes out from the kidneys, comes out through the renal veins, and eventually they drain into the inferior vena cava. But when you learn about the blood supply, there are different hierarchies of vessels which we need to know in detail. So let's see the arteries for now. The renal arteries, which are the branches from the abdominal aorta, immediately divide into segmental arteries. So the renal artery, segmental artery, you can learn, I learn by drawing an algorithm of these arteries or a flow chart, right? So renal artery, segmental arteries, let us look at the segmental artery from the hilum. Okay, for that we'll have to turn the kidney around and look at it from the medial side. Now you're holding the kidney in front of you. You're looking at the hilum of the kidney. You can see the structures of the kidney. This is a right kidney. I've labeled the anterior surface and the posterior surface. If you would go back to my gross anatomy section on the kidney, you know that the structures in the hilum are arranged as vein, artery and pelvis. All right, so that is vein, artery and pelvis from anterior to posterior. But in order to see the segmental vessels, we'll have to remove the vein. All right, so we'll do that. And now we can see in this view, I've removed the vein and we can see the renal artery giving off a lot of branches. So these are segmental. You can count one, two, three, four and five segmental branches. And these can be numbered as we'll be seeing. So there is one segmental branch supplying the apex of the kidney. That segment is called the apical segment and the branch is called the apical branch. The second supplies the anterosuperior segment and it is called the anterosuperior branch. The third supplies the middle segment or the anteroinferior segment by the anteroinferior branch. And in front we have the lower segment or the inferior segment supplied by the lower branch. So that is one, two, three and four. Now the fifth is called the posterior segmental artery and it supplies the posterior part of the kidney. So this is the segmental drainage of the kidney. Now let's see where these arteries further divide into. Okay, so we have taken a section that is our renal artery and now we have the five segmental arteries. You can see four of them and maybe the five a little bit to the lower side okay behind them so that is a posterior one these arteries are now entering the substance of the kidney the next uh, hierarchical artery in this order are the low bar arteries which supply the minor and major calluses but once these uh, low bar arteries enter the substance of the kidney they divide into inter low bar arteries which are paired as you can see in this diagram they are paired they are they are between the pyramids of the kidney the interlobar arteries then reach the base of the pyramids and they arch across and these arteries are called arcuate arteries and eventually the arcuate arteries give off radial branches into the cortex as you can see in this diagram radial branches which supply the cortex they are the interlobular arteries also called cortical radial arteries now what happens after this the cortical radial arteries or the interlobular arteries give off the afferent arteriole and now to look at that we have to highlight that small section over there let us zoom in and let's see what is happening there you have the cortical radial arteries this is a schematic diagram and we label them once more so that is the cortex here you have the medulla and between the substance of the medulla you have the interlobar arteries which then divide into arcuate arteries along the base of the medulla and then they give off the interlobular arteries also called cortical radial arteries and when you zoom in further you can see that the cortical radial arteries give off the afferent arterioles so interlobular afferent arterioles afferent arterioles form the glomerulus and then they come out as the efferent arterioles which then redivide around the loop of the henley to form the 
peritubular vessels also called vasa recti of the counter current system and the vasa recti then collect themselves into venules and they then drain into the interlobular veins so from the venule onwards the rest of the vessels follow the same names as the arteries so venules interlobular veins arcuate veins go backwards all right so interlobar veins then you come to lobar veins then you come to segmental veins and finally you reach the renal vein which then drains into the inferior vena cava so that is it about the blood supply of the kidney a short review let's see each other and meet each other in the next class thank you so much